earlier today, February 14th, 2023, I made a little special about JP and Julia. And uh, my thumbnail was this. Uh, I went to their Instagrams and there's JP doing what he's doing with a big wiener. And there she is with a glass of wine. I figured that's a great thumbnail. And uh, so I, 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 I got it done. I got it done early. And then later this day, um, somebody told me that they did do something for Valentine's Day. And it was a really lame one minute short for their YouTube shorts channel, which is just their recycled TikToks and their own recycled material. And uh, Julia did something on her Instagram uh, later in the day, which was she posted a picture of herself sitting next to an empty chair. And, and, and she says, uh, you want to know who I really love? Say the first word again. And so that can mean, you know, love yourself or she can, she's speaking to the audience saying, I love you, the audience. It can mean both. And uh, anyway, it, 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 it's like a huge thing for her to do that JP isn't there. And she's either saying, love yourself or I love you, the audience. doesn't matter. I'm rushed because I'm, I'm going to try to get this thing done and published by February 14th. So the first part is a lot of talking. It's another screen grab movie. And then at, later on, I review the week thing they did for their shorts channel. So uh, that's the uh, rushed introduction. Let's go. Three, two, one. Okay, guys, here is part two. Uh, check my cursor. Uh, over, go up here. Okay, there it is. Um, it is February 14th, 2023, 6.25 p.m., and that time will change as we go on here. Earlier today at 1.25 p.m., I was on uh, Julia's Instagram, JP's Instagram, the Healthy Junk Food channel, and I wanted to make a record of today what they did for valentine's day because jp and julia are a team at least on paper for the good of their channel's profitability and you know i just wish they would be honest with their audience if they're not a couple and you know stop pretending so i published earlier today uh what is now part one because i thought that was it the thing was I, I, I published it, and while I was in the middle of the premiere about to start, somebody told me that they did do something for Valentine's Day, and they did it on their shorts channel on YouTube, which I never would have thought to check, because I checked the JP and Julia YouTube, and I checked the normal healthy junk food YouTube. And to me, their shorts channel is just recycled TikTok. So I didn't even check it. And so they did do something for Valentine's Day, and I'm going to get to that in a little bit. Okay, this is the most important part here. So stay for what they did on um, the Shorts channel. Uh, okay, so um, I know I'm, I'm babbling a little bit because <laughs> I'm excited to get this done. And uh, this is a wild post that she put up. Um, okay, now it's follow the cursor. It's now 6.27 p.m. Uh, Eastern Standard Time, February 14th, 2023. And just like before, I'm not going to do this over because I'm recording it live and I want to show you guys the time. And that's why I keep moving the cursor around to show you this isn't just, you know, a single screen grab. So um, let's move this a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so it's moving. All right, so um, let's get to... No, let's get to the picture. Okay, let's get to the picture. Boom. There it is. This is what I wanted. So it says uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the top here, watch the cursor. It says, Julia Gulia, you want to know who I love? Oh, when, when did she post this? Oh, there, there. It says edited four hours ago. Okay, so four hours ago, she says, on Valentine's Day, you want to know who I love? Read the first word again. Okay, so she's saying she loves herself. And this this picture is devastating. It's like she's all done up. She's having a bottle of wine. There's one other chair there, and it's empty except for her own jacket. <laughs> so, I mean, <laughs> uh, yeah, so now I'm going to get to the comments. Um, only the ones that matter. Somebody says, uh, kind of hoping that's JP. It's like, read between the lines, buddy. No. 
Um, so that's this guy's comment. I'm kind of hoping that's JP. Here, I'll put the cursor. There. Let's move down. Uh, here's another one. Uh, damn, no love for JP on V-Day? Let's move down a little more. And let's get, this one I want to record this. Um... I like, you know, somebody's making a joke. Yeah, you love your glass of wine. And no, I mean, she said it. it. It's like, you want to know who I love? Read the first word again. Yeah, so anyway, I don't want to... J just to clarify, like, you know, they're, I'm going to go over the... I'm going to ignore the jokes. So, um... Okay. I know this is a little bit boring to scroll through, it's just I'm, you know, this is me recording the evidence. Uh. Okay, let's load some more. And somebody here says, knew it. Uh, you know, I guess... Maybe they're saying, like, yeah, we know that JP and Julia are not a couple. Um, okay. I know this is a little boring, it just... If she takes this down, we lose everything in the comments. Okay, I can't get any more comments. So those are all the comments. Alright. And uh, so, again, going back to the top, it's Julia Gulia and Geholta Photos, financier, patisserie, winter park. I, I don't know what any of that means. Maybe she's got a new job or that's her talking about the person that took the, the photos. <laughs> the photos. <laughs> I'm not doing this over. Interrupting myself for a moment, I checked it is a French restaurant. So uh, how could I tell the first time? Financier, patisserie, winter park. It's a French restaurant close by where JP and Julia have their house and studio. And it looks like it's owned by women. I, anyway, back to what I did earlier. Okay, so, um, uh, yeah. All right, let's, let's get out of this. And, um, oh yeah, there's a video. Let's get out of this. So, um... Like before, I, 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 when I did the, 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 the earlier uh, Valentine's Day episode for today, I, it wasn't showing all the way at, at the bottom because I didn't want everybody to know all my YouTube stuff, right? So this time I got the full screen. And uh, yeah, so that's what she posted like a couple of days before. It's red and white, you know, get it? Like red and white wine. And then she has uh, perfected it. Today on Valentine's Day, that's her with uh, that same jacket with a glass of red wine. Okay, enough talk. Let's get to this video before she takes something down. Okay, there's your video. Let's get in here. All right, I already showed you that in part one. There she is working that butt. And oh, where do I pause it? Oh, it doesn't matter. Where where, where do I? Oh, there's a pause. Okay, I'm not really into Instagram myself. You know, so what? I'm just gonna run it again. We'll just run it again. Who cares? Okay, there's the pause. Okay, that's... Okay, pause again. That was three hours ago. And it's like, be mine. And, um... And then she's reposted the picture of the empty chair with the jacket. And you can read where it says, you want to know who I love. And then if you actually go in there and, and read the comments, it says, you know, check the first word. So, um, yeah, so, so not only has she put this in the video, she's made sure you see that there's the other chair has just got a jacket sitting on it. So this is huge for her to post on, on Valentine's Day. And like, maybe some of you think this is not all that exciting. It's just, um, uh, it's because they are connected to Ken Domic, And it is sort of interesting to me that these two... Are not a couple and they got engaged at Ken Domic's Crave Con and they won't admit they're not a couple and they pretend to be on their channel yet it Julia is is like screaming 
everything except the, the, the actual words on their Instagram that they're not. So I would just want them to be honest with their fans because it's dishonest for them to pretend that they're still a couple. So, um, uh, yeah. So I guess we got everything here. Um, let's, let's just, uh, okay, I'll just, I'll just keep playing it and... Okay, just play through it. There's like a little quote from a song or something sitting there. I thought that's not important. Okay. Um, all right, so we got the pictures, we got the picture, we got the video. Okay, that's, uh, that's everything. All right, so, and what time is it? What time is it? It's now 8, sorry, it's 6.33 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, February 14, 2023. And, uh, yeah, well, it only takes, like, a, let, let's, let's hit that one more time. What, what, just, just, just in case she changed anything else. No, okay. This is the last time I'll do it. Then we'll get out of here. We'll get to uh, what they did for uh, the uh, the YouTube Shorts uh, channel. Do 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 do. Come on, come on. It's it's done. A couple seconds. Okay, done. And oh, well, let me end with the picture. Uh, yeah. And uh, I was saying with the part one of this that, you know, some people think she's hot, some people think she's not. And, you know, well, I don't want to repeat everything we did in the first one. It's, um, uh, <laughs> sorry to ramble. I just, I'm not, I'm not going to stop this part because I want to show you that, you know, the, 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 the time. Um, I know what I'll do. I'll, I'll, I'll um. I'll, I'll do a different introduction. So let, let, let's finish off with this. Oh, yeah, I just remember what I was going to say. I, I, I said, like, you know, some people think she's hot, some people think she's not. And I said she's sort of like girl next door hot. And, and I, I made some comment about, you know, JP should be spending more time with her if they were a couple with what she's worked to improve. I said that earlier today. And I, 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 don't, I can't zoom in, even though she's showing... She's got an amazing butt, Okay. I just think she's got an amazing butt, and uh, so I made that made that comment, which is fine. I'm not going to zoom in on it, so YouTube's not going to like you know demonetize us. All right, let's get away from this. Let's get to their um, to their shorts to the to the video they put on their YouTube Shorts channel. Let's get to that now. So there is a thumbnail, and before I speak to the thumbnail, I just want to indicate that this is from their Shorts channel. And, uh, here's another shot of their shorts channel, which is just their recycled TikTok stuff, as I avoid using swear words. And it's also cannibalizing their own material from their YouTube channel. So, uh, here's a Giant Pockets from almost three years ago. And on the shorts channel, here's a Giant Pockets being listed as just two months ago shorter version so th their shorts channel is recycled upon recycled it's just the worst of the worst and so the thumbnail is just a grab from the footage they didn't even put any work in, into making a proper thumbnail and so this this will will, will, is, will be not very long because the whole thing is just one minute hey baby i got you flower valentine's day now that we have this reaction underway I can say that it is an ugly, mocking joke to the couple they promised to be married and used to be, as they used to work together to make good material. And, um, it, it, it just, it's just all bad, because they shouldn't be doing this on Valentine's Day. Like, this is like a bit of a sop that they sort of buried in their shorts channel, because, like, we, if you go to part one of this, you know, there's there's nothing on their main YouTube channel, and there isn't anything on their companion piece, JP and Julia YouTube channel. This is like a slap in the face of the fans, and as it carries on, even though it's only one minute, it ends with, like, really stupid attempts at comedy. And this is the opening move, which is, instead of flowers, JP got Julia a bag of flour for Valentine's Day. This might explain why JP, even with the notoriety he's had with healthy junk food, has not been able to do anything with his comedy by itself. Yes! 
Hey, baby. I got you some chocolate. This scene is stupid for two reasons. First, we know that Julia is now a fitness maniac and has been for a long time. So she's not going to sit around the house and eat a box of chocolates. And the other part is that these two are far past the courting stage. They got engaged years and years ago and uh, they're not getting married. And as we had earlier in this episode, it's like it's Valentine's Day and she's, you know, sending huge signals that here I am in a bar sitting next to an empty chair. It's like she's laughing at it all. And the two of them together are laughing at it. So um, let's keep moving. Hey, baby. This being only one minute, I gotta stop it here, uh, or else you'll miss something. Uh, she's got JP on her phone to suggest. <laughs> she's sitting there, uh, you know, fussing over JP, which... See how, see what I mean? Like, it's all a mocking, ugly joke. And, uh, like, if, if this was, like, shortly after they got engaged, and they were clowning a little bit with, hey, baby, hey, baby, it, it would be kind of cute and funny. Them doing it now with, um, you know, her birthday comes and goes, Valentine's Day comes and goes, their anniversary of their channel comes and goes, they don't do anything, it's just an ugly mocking joke, and, uh, this isn't funny material, it's pathetic, desperate material, so, anyway, let's carry on with it. I love you. Oh. Stop. <laughs> Only the best for my baby on Valentine's Day. <laughs> So they left the house for this, and the reason why they did is because she was getting her hair done. And that's where the lame setup came from. So like she's she's gonna go get her hair done anyway. So in a very lazy, cynical way, they said, let's let, let's make a sop uh, Valentine's video. Uh, you know, it, I don't know what. It just it doesn't impress, it's not funny, it's not heartfelt. That's what they used to be. They used to be funny and they used to be cute, and there there was a heart to what they, they used to do. So it's like, a, ooh, your hair. It's like, now you're getting your hair done. And that, that was the, the inspiration for this lousy one minute long video that they did. One more thing. The laughter that comes from JP is starting to give me Ken vibes. <laughs> no, let me pay. Is that supposed to be funny? Is that supposed to be cute? They got engaged like six and a half years ago and went through COVID and, and the masks came and left. I guess she's got a mask because she's at the, the hairdressers or whatever. It, it's just like, th 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 this isn't funny or cute. Like, oh, let me pay, let me pay. Yeah, how does it work as funny? Cause it's not a funny bed. How does it work as cute when Julia doesn't have JP on her Instagram and on their own normal YouTube channels, they don't do anything together anymore. Like, they barely will handle a bit of food for like a, like a, a couple of minutes uh, screen time together. This, this is just mocking and, and, and bitter. Okay. Yeah, it's showing off. So there is some guy buying a whole bunch of Valentine stuff for his wife or girlfriend, whatever. And uh, what does that have to do with JP and Julia? How is it funny? Like, you know, they're in the car park while Julia's still getting her hair done or they're about to leave. And so JP just has his camera in his hand and happens to shoot a little bit of footage of a guy walking by with some Valentine's materials. And it's like, that guy is showing off. Is that supposed to be funny or something? I mean, like, it doesn't speak to JP and Julia or to good comedy. or It's just, it's just crap. I mean, like, it it's... It's like Ken Dominic hack material. That, that's why, you know, they, they go together so well, which is probably why, you know, JP came over to our channel and said, Ken Dominic is an amazing person and very kind and loving and talented. And I guess if this is what you're producing, I, I guess you would feel that way then. Anyway, let's move off of it. Yeah, no, I'm going to be two people, 6 p.m. tonight. Yes. Hey, what are you doing? It's supposed to be a surprise. But I'm making reservations for a special place for us tonight. Mm -hmm. I have a reservation for two under the name JP. I'm sorry, but we don't do reservations. Congratulations, JP and Julie, especially JP, because he's running what's left of the Healthy Junk Food channel now. Which is, you're doing 
Ken Dominic proud by bothering people who make very little money at the fast food place. What duty heads, as I avoid swearing. Let's move on. GP, what are we going to do about dinner now? What did you get? That is it. It ends right there. It just falls off a cliff. That's, that's what, what they offered for Valentine's Day. They, they got together for a cynical and not funny piece of garbage. Like, we're so, it's, not, it's not funny. And, and, and it's like, you know, you bother somebody at, at, their, at their work and shoot footage of them and uh, make money from them and don't cut them in for a share of the profits. And uh, then we're supposed to believe this. I mean, of course, it's not believable because it's not fun footage. That they, they used to sh shoot some silly footage between the two of them like this sometimes not all the time and you know like all that stuff like you know team jp and team julia but you know when they had fake you know uh little cooking competitions i mean they were engaged couple right i mean it's like that was all just silliness so what we're supposed to think that it's even a little bit real or like funny or plausible that like oh you spoiled the uh, dinner now what do you got you, you having pizza hut in the laundry room it's just not funny. And for them uh, pretending to be together a little bit on their channel, and at least Julia is like pretty much completely saying it on Instagram. Okay, here's the last note I'm going to end with. Yes, it was noticed when I went by. That's the only time in like a year she's put the ring on. And she put it on for this piece of garbage. That was meant as, as another mocking joke between the two of them. They're... Um, like, what's my interest? I just wish they would be honest with their audience that did support them. I mean, like, their content is just, you know, very mediocre at best these days. And, and uh, with the TikTok material and recycling their own material and TikTok back into YouTube, they just, they should have just called it the 10-year anniversary. This is what they're going to make. And um, it will be interesting to see what Julia keeps doing with her Instagram. It just gets sexier, and JP just gets less funny. And uh, that is all we got.